Hello everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the uh, comeback of, well it's not actually a comeback, it's a one-time thing probably, <laughs> but who knows? <laughs> who knows? It's the Metapod everybody with me, Nargo Probe, and uh, the person below me, whose name is, who is well, Who's he, Wandering? I don't know, who's Wandering Benser? One of the OG Pokemon streamers. The OG? <laughs> that's, that's quite a title. Yeah. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. know I... I don't know who streamed this, like way back. But it was basically you, me, and uh, Slowbro and Outcast back then, right? That's true. The I, I, there were... weren't a lot of people on, on the Pokemon side of Twitch back then. It's grown, but oh, it's like... mostly grown because of the Magic players. To be honest, like there's been Magic players out there that's been like, oh, Pokemon TCG yeah. Online is actually pretty yes. good. Magic yes. players, indeed. Yeah. So Which, that's I mean, uh, coincidentally is actually what I'm doing as well. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, I'm, I'm just not that big of a magic player. Yeah, I um, mean you play it in real life though. Oh, oh yeah, like so many card games have a lot to thank for magic being great and MTGO being bad. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Oh, you've also been uh, playing uh, that other card game. What's it called? The one that's like Hearthstone and mixed with magic. Oh, uh, I've been playing Eternal. Um, yeah, I really one. enjoy that. Um, yeah, no, that's that's been very fun. Yeah, I, I tried it um, like very shortly, but then I was like, if I'm gonna play this, I might as well play either Magic or Hearthstone. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was kind of the sure, feeling I had. Sure. Uh, but it was a nice mix. It's definitely a better version of Hearthstone. But then again, every card game is a better version of Hearthstone. So, yeah, so, I, there's a there's a lot of things to hate about Hearthstone, but that's yeah. kind of neither here nor there. No. Nope. Uh, that's not really what uh, we're here to talk about today, because we're here to talk about the latest set that is actually going to come out on PTGO in, I'm guessing, like five, six hours when they start working, I guess. We're here to talk about Amonkhet, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, uh, of course, of course. I thought we were going to uh, talk politics today, actually, so I don't know. It's oh, that happening. makes sense. Yeah. Uh, Have you heard of what's going, about the what's going on this in the... Like Japanese <laughs> about politics. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's uh, not talk about that. We're talking about Guardians Rising, actually. We're gonna do a uh, set review of the whole thing. Well, we might jump through some of the boring cards, well, uh, and then we can talk about Nine Tails because that's a at the card. very least is gorgeous. Oh yes, um, definitely. And the foiling looks uh, great. Too. Here, here's where I'll lodge my complaint that the new like way that they do the GX borders and everything, like even yeah. on the regulars, is like completely unreadable, and I'm not into it. Oh man. Um, though it's very pretty. <laughs> I mean, it I is. I just kind of liked. I kind of liked the old, the old EXs, like where the regular one you could read at least, yeah. so you could figure out what the card did, and then, and then once you knew that, okay, now you can play the full <laughs> one. And you don't have to read it anymore. Yeah. Um, just imagine so... this in, in English lettering or whatever <laughs> the, our types of letters are called. Just imagine that in like Japanese. That must be super hard to read, right? I don't know. In my head, it's weird. But then again, I don't know Japanese, so what do I know? But what do we think yeah, of the I, Nine I don't Tails? have those answers for sure. Um, <laughs> so you know, uh, back we're back to the pretty card that probably doesn't do very much. Um, like fifty damage to you know a bench Pokemon or or whatever one you want is kind of nice, mm -hmm. but it's also only fifty damage. Yeah. And this is stage one, by the way. Um, I, so uh, I'm not going to use my that's... inside information here. But... That's not really getting there. <laughs> and then we have Blizzard Edge, which is yep. blue, blue, colorless for discard two energy and do 160, which it's also just way below uh, the bar. Yeah, 160. I mean, if you play, we're we're looking at the card in a vacuum, I guess. But if you play Choice Band on that, that's 190, and 190 is actually that's that's fine. Yeah, that's, still still costs with discard energy. energies, and it costs double blue. I, 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 I don't know. And then we have this GX attack, which is actually kind of a cool attack, but it requires us to have this Pokemon active for a while. <laughs> so. I am gonna use my inside information. This this card is that, broken uh, with Aqua Patch. It's it's better with Aqua Patch for I sure. Don't... It's uh... it, yeah, it definitely helps. Like so, and we're we're gonna get to Aqua Patch eventually. I know that uh... the Japanese are actually playing this card. This is actually a deck in their format, uh, or well, yeah, a deck in their format, I guess. Uh, but they have a bit of a 
Yeah, it's actually a deck they're playing. Uh, nine okay. tails. But I mostly there's the big reason for that is because it doesn't need a lot of trainers to be played. And right now, a lot of people are playing a uh, Garbodor that we're going to come to. Sure. Uh, so there's a certain reason to play this, apparently. But, yeah, um, I mean, yeah, that's another card we'll talk about. Um, shortly. Uh -huh. Interesting. So I was also, also I a bit surprised that, by it. But, but um, I guess, you know, a sniping for 50 is not bad. <laughs> right. It's a pretty... It's a chunky snipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, and, and for, you know, that being for double colorless... You know, and maybe that's just not how you use this card, but if you wanted to, doing that for double colorless is actually pretty nice. Um, and this thing does have 210 HP, mm -hmm. which is nothing to sneeze at. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're we kind of in a realm now where HP is so... <laughs> yeah, I wish the they place. really nerfed it. But it's they, easy to gloss over. I'm glad these, that they like, nerfed it. Yeah. I'm glad that they nerfed it in the way that instead of, you know, removing the high HPs, they re like went back to having evolutions again. Yeah. So at least now we have to evolve into high, to high right. HP. Well, we just mostly. don't start with it. Yeah, well, mostly. Yeah. There are a few <laughs> ones that break that. Anyway, rule. but um, and then we will also talk yeah, about the Volpix so... for this card, uh, and that's also a part why it's okay. <clears throat> but yeah, it's seeing play. I, I'm gonna have to try it out and see how it works out. But it's oh, definitely yes. not the card that I'm most excited about from the set. No, no, no. Uh, though I like um, it, I, I think it's a beautiful yeah. card. I, that's a, I you know obviously I came to this and had no idea what the Japanese metagame was. Yeah, so of, of course. That, but uh, that's it's very know, interesting to me that they play this card. If I was in your position, I would also say that this is fine, but not like blowing my mind. I mean, in a vacuum, it definitely is. Maybe you know. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. In a meta, anyway. maybe this would work. In, sure, sure, sure. In just looking at the card, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Delibird. Nosok is saying he likes Delibird. Okay, I'm 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 in for a read. Hello, monsters. All the Welcome. Okay, can I start by saying that I adore the name of this attack? All the presents. All the presents. That sounds like some all internet meme. <laughs> all the presents. You get a present, and you get a present. Everybody gets a present. What do you actually um, get anyway. for a present? That's true. That's the question I was just about to ask. Flip a coin until you get tails. Oh, this is infinite mm. or something. For each heads, you may search your deck for a what? card and put it in your hand. Oh my god, hand. if you're good at cheating, you have your whole deck next turn. <laughs> All the presents indeed draw your deck into the wow. Infinite. Let's go. I mean... I... Wow. Okay, but this is pretty it's, cool. it's still... I mean, it's still not good, but it's at least... If you actually get a few heads... <clears throat> All of a sudden, it's the best card in the game. All right. uh, but next card, Delmize. Is that how you pronounce this? I have no idea. The point is, this is actually strangely really good. All right. Um, oh, it's so, this one. Yes. Yeah. I kind of uh, like how the Psychic and Metal all of a sudden are best friends. I don't, I don't know why, but they're like... <laughs> That's apparently a I thing. I read then. this and had to like reread it three times. So it's like, does that really say metal? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but it does, and it's great. Um, the attack it has is not really the not, thing. That's not why it plays. The trick cost is meh. Uh, the fact that it has 120 HP is basic. is kind of nice. Uh, yep. But uh, all of that kind of doesn't matter because it's ability is just great. I mean, yeah. The ability is, well, I mean, it also depends on what you have to play with it, of course. And I'm not sure we have a lot to play with it right sure, now. Sure, sure. But, uh... But I think it, even in Expanded, if there's that mm -hmm. gonna be, like, a good metal deck, yeah. I think this will have a slot there. Uh, this 10 extra damage indeed. is not bad. <clears throat> from the bench. Yeah, I know, and I mean, you could just jam, like, four of these and play, and, mm -hmm. you know, that starts to be, like, really good. Yeah. Uh... Uh, and I, I mean, if anybody's ever seen me play Legacy, they'll know that I absolutely adore Deoxys, and oh, yes. uh, I therefore adore this. Um, Deoxys is a little bit better, though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can actually yeah, attack with that attack one. And <laughs> yeah. buffing a like subset of Pokemon that is just def defined as being great, uh, at least in Legacy, mm -hmm. um, is definitely a good place to be. But you know, if we start getting some actual metal attackers, this is definitely got a got some stuff to do yeah and just you know just in a vacuum it's just inherently like very powerful and worth considering so I even think yeah, this is cool if you're thinking about standard it's also 120 hp on the bench it's not that bad when the city is everywhere uh, it's actually a good oh, yeah. amount of hp no it's it's yeah it's a nice amount 
Okay. Uh, grandpa, uh, I think, like grandpa. Gosh, do I despise this design. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, let's make a shiny like, dragon, but ugly. <laughs> no. It's really ugly. Um, but what does this do? Uh, a mass. Okay. Search your Search deck, your deck for, for a basic energy yeah, card and attach it to this Pokemon. Well, that Can attack next isn't turn. what I would describe as amassing, but I mean that. Uh, helps, that is one. That's more like gathering. <laughs> and <Right>. then, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, gathering. You know, look at all these one berries I picked. <laughs> oh, you yeah. amassed all those berries. So good. <laughs> all that berry you amassed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, my humor is so bad. Um, anyway. Okay. I appreciate it, at least. Oh, that, uh, that's good. I'm glad that you do. Power Cyclone? Uh, you know you, like you're, it's, it's an Okay, engine. so he, he picks the berry, and then he's like, <laughs> here you go, boom. He throws it backwards, and someone else has the berry. <laughs> and that's This is awesome. the slowest energy acceleration plan. <laughs> anyway, uh, Drumpa GX. Yes. So uh, I'm actually let's let's just jump like right to the two things that matter. It's the first and the last attack, right? Uh, so it's yeah, I would say so. Righteous Edge for so, twenty damage, um, and you discard a special energy, which is yeah. sweet. Uh, uh, probably, I, I actually yeah. should mention like I don't think you can sleep too much on the middle one. Um, no, no, so no, 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 the middle one's good. So the middle one's also it's good. It's going to do 150 damage a lot of the time. So uh, I just feel like uh, the, the, those two ones. If you're not, well, if you're using this, <laughs> you're going to attack with it, I guess. Um, yeah, but the second attack is fine too. It's a bit more tricky because there will be situations when it's like it's not never going to do anything. But yeah, indeed. Oh, well. uh, I really like this GX attack. The GX attack is amazing. Yeah. I, I, uh, it's, I it's not I okay, not amazing, kind of but it's it's cards. it's good. So it's for me the GX attacks like, yeah, they're always kind of a you know a thing you just kind of pull the trigger on when it's necessary. So I really yeah. like situational ones. Yeah, it's, it's basically my opinion of them. That, that yeah. doesn't necessarily translate this... into actually being good, but that's I what don't feels feel nice. Like this is situ I feel like this is one of those. First turn you attack, or the first chance you have at attacking, you just do that, and then you have a proper setup for the following, or for the rest of the game. Uh, that's true. I, I, that's how I, I feel about one it. One way to think of this for me, though, like, I get N to one, and then I'm just like, whatever, big wheel. Yeah. And then they end you back, you and know. it's like, oh. Probably. That's but... why That's why I don't like it late game, because N is actually just killing it more. Because early, they have to think about it, right? Of like, <clears> do I want to use yeah. my N instead of just doing my mm -hmm. thing this turn? Sure. Uh, plus, um, the one thing that overall, makes it... Overall, this, this has a lot going on, and I yes. like most of it. Um, yes. The only thing I don't like, even though it doesn't matter, it's weakness to fighting. Well, it feels like it should be resistance to fighting, but apparently it's one of those normal yeah. normals. Right. <clears throat> Which is weird, because it's also a dragon. Yeah. It's exactly. very odd to me that they printed this at, like, colorless weakness to fighting in the yeah. same set as... Like one that's dragon and weak to fairy. Like, yeah, I could see this being but, dragon, and that would be actually kind of sweet. But maybe they anybody... were kind of scared about the dragon, uh, like yeah. interactions there. I don't know. Is this guy like dragon normal? Is that the story with this this, this Pokemon, I, like in the games or whatever? I, I haven't actually so. played Sun and Moon yet. I'm guessing. But, uh, yeah. So one last Basically, thing I want to say is... about Big Wheel. Yeah, go ahead if you have anything to. Uh, I was going to say, like, in summary, like, this is mostly predicated on, like, if we want to righteous edge things, this guy's great, and otherwise yeah. he's, like, kind of whatever. He's Being basically... colorless, though, means anybody who wants to righteous edge things gets to do it, so that's cool. Yeah. It's, it's a sweet card because you can add it to any deck. <laughs> yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a GX attacker, Taurus has been the one that you use before this, I think, but now with this one, you have yeah. between Taurus and this, and then you can kind of, you know, decide on what you feel <clears throat> is proper for your deck. Yeah, I do I like think that. that Tauros is going to win out like most yes. of the time. Like, this is better on rate. But, uh, you know, Dropout could definitely find a metagame where it's going to do a lot more work. Yeah. And the last um, thing I want to say is the big wheel attack is super good. If you use it, as I said, as a first turn setup, then you're, uh, you're, we're going to come to a supporter card later. That will just oh, be yeah. better because mm -hmm. you've used that early. And I think that's yeah. actually um, a big thing. Definitely. But we'll, yeah, we'll get to, we'll, we'll get to that. Shall we move on? 
Do you have any... Dragon in the game. Okay, that's kind of what I suspected from the way we were looking at this here. Uh, Thank you, Queen. Yeah, they're saying we can skip the next two, Fletchender and Fletchling. Uh, yeah, I kind of agree. Also, I just want to say that the Drampa GX full art is the worst art I've ever seen in my life. But let's have a The rainbow one? one or just the uh, rainbow both one? ones. Just look at that card. What the yeah, those are pretty bad. That's... I will say... So, so I when I looked at the first Drampa, I said, like, this is one of the most horrible designs. <laughs> I actually like the regular GX art, like, yeah, it's fairly well. Like, I feel like I still don't like the design inherently, but hey, it looks pretty nice. The overall the feel of that art is fine, but I still feel like the Drampa is kind of like, I don't know. I just don't. Oh, the, the, the design, design on it is not great. Down. Yes. All That's right. For sure. So, Fletch Hinder, we could skip. Uh, Garbodor, which oh is apparently Lord. forcing us to play Nine Tails. <laughs> this card actually. This is a card, this, though. This card really does some stuff. This is a card. Uh, well, do you want to start like just saying anything? Because, well, I'll read the card. How about that? Yeah, go ahead. Um, the I'm not even gonna bother reading the second attack, but uh, the first You're never attack. Use it, so. No, not really. Uh, is Trashalanch? That's my uh. Yeah, that's, that's my attempt at pronouncing that. Uh, this attack does 20 damage for each item card in your opponent's discard pile. Uh, anybody who's ever played much Constructed can tell you that that's going to do a lot of damage most of but the time. But that gets so bad now. <laughs> but, um, um, oh my god. You know, it's not actually even that bad in Team Deck, because as soon as I get like two, this is great. <laughs> yeah, it is. But I don't know if it's in Team or whatever. So as soon uh, as you do the math on this, it is just kind of insane. Yeah, like this they, is kind of a card that forces your opponents to like play a very strange deck. Yeah. Or or think about their place. It's basically it, imagine like a reverse bioplume <laughs> deck. Like when you're facing bioplume, you just want to throw right. out your trainers and set your supporters mm -hmm. up, right? This is the opposite. Like, yeah. oh god, I can't play my trainers. <laughs> yeah. There's there's a lot going on here. Like, okay, so that's this, what. I, Punishes you playing items. Vile Plume punishes you not playing them. Yes. This also, like, you can just run one of these in a garbage order. But it's the same like... kind of punishment in the end, right? Like, this stops you from well, playing them. Vile Plume saying... will stop. From, you know, it's like it's no win. It's right? sim... No, exactly. So um, this and Vile Plume. <laughs> for the work. other one, and you could just play one of these. You need Psychic Energy, which is the main cost. Yeah. Uh, but. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of stuff you can do with this card, and if your opponents are just going to jam some items, it's going to do a lot of damage for not very much cost, and only give your opponent one prize because yeah. that's how we do these things. That's insane. Um, and so the yeah, fact that it's Garber. one energy, that's really what puts it over the top. But oh, if yeah. it was two, it would have been yeah, that would have been yeah, fine. It would still be definitely. good. Just would have been a lot slower. Absolutely, but for one psychic, this is a. Uh, yeah, you, you can you can do some work. Um, the best I think that's mostly it. Like this, you know, depending on how rampant this really gets, you know, you could see nine tails, <laughs> 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 which by extension I oh, mean like yeah. you could see strategies change because you know we don't want to try to mega turbo up a Rayquaza just so that they can kapow it for two forty with this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so um, the, yeah, just thinking that, about that, it, it's they. Short if they sick more first turn, let's say they have three oh, trainers, yeah. that's sixty damage already. This, and then they play you, two or three trainers. Right, like you it's could easily just be of looking at 140, 180 damage with this, just like on turn two or three. Yeah. Um, you know, with the way a lot of decks are built, because um, that's the other thing. Like, like okay, they sick more, and then they ultra ball discarding another thing, and you know, play styles like that. Mm -hmm. Who knows how many items they could dump on the first couple turns? Yeah, it's just I, I've definitely played games with Night March where I have, I don't know, thirty items in my discard yeah. pile. In turn one. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, which obviously that's just we're talking about way overkill now, but yeah. stuff like that happens. It happens. Uh, um, yeah, you definitely get punished for doing what you want to do. Right. So um, that's a big thing. That I don't is... understand how this is not twenty plus ten like uh, Vespiquen instead, just to do it like a reverse thing. Uh, Maybe I mean, it would that be. Pays for the, it, it pays for the times where your opponent plays around this or just mm. happens to not be playing a lot of items or whatever. Like, the thing about Vespiquen is you control. Yeah. Well, yeah, your yeah. opponent can 
do some stuff to it. But most of the time, you control how many creatures are in your discard pile. Definitely. Where this, yeah, that, that's true. You, know, you have you're to. Only looking uh, at your opponent's you depend pile. on their how they are playing it. If they don't play any items, this is that attack has no text. <laughs> no. Well, that's very yeah, unlikely. No, it's but it's a thing. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just super uh, good though. And we just agree indeed, that it's like indeed. a super good oh, attacker. Yeah. And it's it's kind of like we've talked about it about it as much as I think you can, you know, just sitting here in a vacuum. Uh, there's not really much more to say than it's a great attacker <laughs> and your opponent gets punished for playing the game. And that's kind of what you want. You want to punish your opponent for just right. being there. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we'll see where this goes in metagames or whatever and what yep. kind of decisions this causes people to make. But this is the kind of card that like might just be the most important thing going on in the format mm -hmm. someday in the future. Yeah. Uh, Which means yeah. that, but as people get better playing around it, I don't, you know, and decks right. form that it, will it's counter the it. It's kind of card also that, like, if it's the most important thing in the format, like, will kind of defeat itself because people will just adjust. But yep. at that point, it's, you know, warping the format, right? Yes. Um, and then if you adjust to that, then another deck will be, you know, too good and so on. Uh, so, Golisopod. Is that how you say that? I hope so. I, 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 Who I'm knows? Who knows? It's a G. It's complicated. Um, so this is a card that Nosok is super excited about. Gol Golisopod? Golisopod. Uh, That's what I'm going with. Probably. It's a pod that we know. So it has armor, and this Pokemon takes 30 less damage from attacks. So ability still does all the things. And then the attack is an attack. Finally, we get... Oh, wow, finally... Uh, it's fun that we get GX the GX and EX, EX things mm -hmm. now. So if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon GX or EX, this deck does 70 more damage. So it does 150. Yeah. Um, it's our New Age Bufalant. Yes. Uh, and I'm actually pretty fond of it as, as New Age Bufalants go. Mm -hmm. uh, it, you know, it, armor is one of those Not abilities bad. that... It's easy to sit there and like, okay, armor. So what, I have 130 plus 30 equals 160. Like the one shot is 160, but the two shot is... You know, double 90. that, yeah. <clears throat> At least, yes. Um, so the attack it, is not bad, right? Uh, if it was no, two I, energies, I would be super excited. <laughs> At three energies, I'm okay, excited. Yeah, uh, but this is also grass type, so like, yep. Lorantis will uh, buff it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so that is uh, that is basically the plan yeah, I, right now. This could see play like this. You know, we'd have to have some stuff we wanted to kill, and we'd have to have reasons we wanted to trade prizes or something, but that's usually things we're interested in. Uh, three energies is a lot, and 150 is, like, maybe slightly less damage, but doesn't Choice Band get this to 180? So, hey. Yeah. And that's a lot of damage. It really is. Uh, but yeah, I like this guy. It still feels uh, like it's I better against EXs <laughs> than GXs, because GXs just have 200 plus HP all the time, but... It's still well, the basic ones, though. No, the basic one. No, that's 180, right? That's true. Oh, it kills. Uh, it kills uh, Tor Taurus. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's pretty. Good. Oh wait, no, Taurus is 190, isn't it? Is it, is it 180? Oh god, I thought it was one. Isn't it 180? I, I think remember. it's 180. No, it's 180, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is. Yeah. So choice band killer Taurus. That's yeah. pretty nice. That is. And Taurus, that, like that, that's actually a thing. Because Taurus is no, that's true. Well, um, unless it survives somehow. I mean, if it has uh, the band on it. We well, can, can put the band out here with Leaf Blower now. <gasps> oh my god, Leaf Blower is going to change everything. And that's actually true. <laughs> it is going to change everything. But yeah, it's a good card. It will probably, if you play it, it would probably be like a one-off just to have that extra big yeah. attack against certain things. Yeah. As Which, we said, if Taurus is a thing. It's kinda, kind of the problem with the stage one is that it becomes hard to play like a 1-1 one -one line or something. But, yep. you know. I mean, things it's, uh, you play forest though, so it's most of the time, which makes it a bit better. All right, let's, let's move on to one happy. of the hype cards. This is hyped. Uh, I think so. I mean, I guess it mostly hyped because of the promo, like in rock, and now you can put this <clears> in there <throat> and like do more things. So, like in rock <laughs> GX, which has bloodthirsty eyes, as you can clearly see on the foil effects there. So. I think I'm just going to call this Lysander GX. Okay, Lysander GX. Can we just call this that? Yeah, I mean, it has the same two first letters, so it's basically the same. Yeah. Uh, but... When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve, well, well your benched Pokemon, it doesn't matter, right? One of your Pokemon you during your turn. You may switch one of your Pokemon, yeah, you Lysander them. You may switch their, yeah, it's Lysander GX. Their benched one with their active. 
And then it can do 110 damage for three energies. I don't know how much I'm about that. And it's not good. Ridge rock? Oh. Uh, uh, um, uh, strong, strong energies? Strong energy, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's a All fighting thing. So it just does like 80 extra damage for no reason. Uh, <laughs> no, exactly. It's just like. Uh oh, it says 110, though. Oh, but yeah, it's actually 200 now. So. <laughs> too bad. Hey, better than Lucario? Oh, man. What? Trying Nothing is better than Lucario. I'm also not sure that this is better than Lucario, but... Yeah, I mean, it's more damage for three? Yeah, that's what you mean? Because Lucario is 100 for three? I don't actually remember, because I but never Lucario hardly ever used that. A attack. bunch of other damage for... Yeah, you do 30 without These weakness, are just very and then different you cards. do... Yeah, it's very different. <clears throat> so, if Lysander rotates, this is going to be Beast. If it does, it I don't think Lysander rotates, though, so it's not going to be Beast. It doesn't. That's my feeling. Um, but, I mean, doing, like, the thing about Shaman leaving the format eventually is that then you will have to actually spend more time drawing cards with your supporters, um, at which point it becomes, like, a lot more valuable to get, like, a Lysander effect out of not a supporter. Mm -hmm. Uh... So I, I don't hate this for that. Um, no. And, you know, what I was saying earlier about stuff you want to play, and then, like, it just has an okay attack. Like, this does have okay attacks. Yeah. Um, I mean, it has an okay attack because of strong energies and it's, stuff like that. Well, and, uh, I mean, I don't even know if we've read the GX attack yet, but that actually isn't a terrible GX attack at all. No, it's I mean, 50 it's, it's times just each benched. <laughs> Like, that's just... I, what is that not killing? <laughs> well, it depends on how many they have benched, I guess. Sure, but, like... But, yeah, you're going to use it when it's an arc out, obviously. <laughs> right, right, You know. Uh, um, so that's not... No, so that's it's not So it's like bad. a utility, you know, GX. I, I don't mind this at all. Um, it's also yeah. a new member of the, hey, our utility Pokemon have a billion HP trend. Yeah. And it's also true what Nozark is saying, that, yeah, it, uh, it keeps your... Uh, supporter play for the turn open. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, when Shaman rotates, it will be more important to mm -hmm. do so. Is, is yeah. what I think. So, oh. you know, this that this, this is definitely playable. Uh, how much, you know, we'll see. Depends on a lot more things uh, than just this. But I'm feeling like right now, probably not that much. But um, no, I, I don't think we need it right now. It's it's just, we, it, we have like powerful draw engines. A lot of is VS Seeker rotating, by the way. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Does anybody know? Yeah, it's rotating. I think it is. So, yeah. like, that matters too. You know, we don't have room to. We've been spoiled for a while with all this, yeah. like, Shaman. We have a really, like, really strong format. There's a, yeah, there's a lot going on in this format where, like, you get to cheat and not have to play stuff like this. Yeah. And that's going to end eventually. It's gotten a bit weaker, though, when Compressor rotated, to be honest. Oh, definitely. But um, yeah. it's still I super compressor. good. Yes, Compressor's so good. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, uh, the, the first. Back when I started streaming, I just like I read Compressor and I was like, "What? You just get to play like Triple in Tomb like, <laughs> in one card? This card's just great!" <laughs> and people were like, "Oh, what do you even do with Compressor? Like Nightmare some stuff?" I'm like, "No, Compressor's just awesome. You should just play it yeah. every day." Yeah, definitely. I mean, every I think most good expanded decks play it because yes, it's oh, yeah. options and everything. Well, at least a couple. Like, oh, hey, Compressor's just so good. Yeah. Um, that's another podcast, Compressor. by the way. <laughs> Compressor is my favorite Pokemon card. Fun fact. Without a Pokemon on it. Awesome. Not not that is a Pokemon. So which, uh, okay, probably... so which one is your favorite Pokemon Pokemon card? Uh, I'm tempted to say Joltik, but I think it might just be like... If you're not allowed, it's just Shaman. <laughs> uh, I, I, Shaman's the best one. I don't know yeah. if it's my favorite. Like, I in don't. some worlds, I wonder if I would just, like, like the game more if Shaman wasn't in it. I, I don't really have that mm -hmm. answer, but... No. Um, Let's uh, move on to... They Can all we... feel very, like... Part of the problem with Pokemon for me is they all feel very, like, kind of homogenous. Yeah. Like, what's the difference between one thing that does X number of damage and one thing that does X number of damage? Yeah, I understand. I don't know. I'm going to say Joltik today. All right. Joltik today. Just leave it, leave it at... That's purely today. And, and if you're in the chat, let us know what your favorite Pokemon is, and we can discuss Indeed. that later. And uh, and let us know how far from your least favorite Joltik is. <laughs> Nightmare's Joltik, obviously. 
<laughs> not the other one that just does 10 damage or whatever. No. Uh, so Lycanroc, probably gonna see play. If you play Lycanroc, you're gonna see I, this one play. I would be one. surprised if by the time this leaves standard, it doesn't see some play here and there. Yeah. Like, someone's gonna could try see a ton, depending on where we go from here. Yes. Is that just I'm, I'm not sure what's damage? going on. <laughs> Can you just write that? This is a rare, by the way. Oh god, no! <laughs> Damn it! Every time I'm almost excited about a card, they put rare on it, and all of a sudden I'm like, no. Ruined. <laughs> now I'm never gonna be able to be excited about this. But obviously happening? it's a rare because it's a holo card, so yeah. I started reading this card, and I was like, okay, 70 HP, Swift, that's fine. And then there's just this attack. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's unreadable. Yeah. But you're never getting triple fighting on this thing, and no. it does 190 damage because because it it Kapow. explodes. Obviously, <laughs> you're never playing this. But this Pokemon is knocked out. I didn't even get to. I couldn't get past the name to read that it knocks itself out. Sure, whatever. <laughs> you did, you, that was the first thing I saw. You didn't see that. Oh, such a, <laughs> such a new reviewer. Are you kidding? You Wait, can't, it has. You can't just, you can't just move past. Cosmic explosion. I I just want a a quick note. This is a fighting. Look at its weakness and resistance. Is that wrong or is that <laughs> is that the real thing that's going on right here? <laughs> like what is happening with this card? What the fuck? How, how why why is it happen? weak to electric? How's how how is that a thing? Like what? Holy cow! This is the what first is this time card? when you play a fighting and your opponent's playing electric and they're like, oh no, I need to wait what? <laughs> Oh, well, this just I dies. Mean, oh, great. They have weakness, so they can deal <laughs> 70 damage. How else were they going to kill this? Oh, right. It kills itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this could see play. Uh, what we would use it for is not entirely clear. Hey. When we don't want to play letters because Garbodor? I don't know. It's for our Ninetales deck. <laughs> 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 I like how excited you sound every time. I'm like, yep, nine tails in this. Yep, that's the thing. Yep, because <laughs> no trainers ever <laughs> just play every tech Pokemon, <laughs> every tech Pokemon in Ruffs. Oh, uh, not Ruffs. Uh, <laughs> what is it called Skyfield? <laughs> just play everything onto the bench. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we do it. Yeah, you get like the... <laughs> why? Are, why do you think we're playing like... Golpix? It's not to search for the nine tails. Obviously, to play the birds. Clearly. Clearly. Eat all the birds. Okay, let's move on. It's not that good. Okay, do. <laughs> Obviously, if I'm so, gonna open an Oricorio. In this hypo in this hypothetical no trainers deck, can we put Deli Bird in there? <laughs> it's the oh, right I type. Uh, we do need to stop for Phantom. Because that art is actually really good. A that and actually this matters because it this is a grass a type. It was a grass type. Oh, that's true. You can now grass type your Trevenants. Oh, you that's that true. Type. That, can, that actually that, makes a difference. Oh, and yes. I don't know if people will actually switch to that, but you, they might. Um, and so in standard now, you can actually play... You don't need to play the item lock Trevenant, because that's not in standard at the moment, I think. Right. But you can play Trevenant Break with this. Wait, no, it is in standard, isn't it? Is it in standard? I don't think it's in standard. I think that's where Probably. we're playing Vileplume. Fair enough. I think so. Anyway. Either way. Uh, oh, well. But this anyway. matters in like expanded or something. Uh, I mean, this matters more in standard though, because going directly into Phantom or to Trevenant Break is pretty good. Well, you can't go straight to Break because you can, you can evolve the middle Trevenant. Oh, if you want. Oh, the middle one is uh, Grass too. But there's but there's a Grass Trevenant now if you wanted to go straight. to Yes, break. exactly. Okay. And the Grass sure. one, I'm pretty sure that's an okay <laughs> one, so it's not actually that bad. Okay. Uh, but we'll, uh, well, I guess that, we'll jump forward to that then. and see what that Anyways, looks like. Not a ton to talk about with this card, other than the indeed awesome art, but yeah. uh, I just wanted to mention that having a grass phantom matters. Yeah. Anything grass matters these days. It, if it matters. You know, uh, it's funny, <laughs> when I get challenges that are Evo challenges, I spend a lot of time finding like grass basics that evolve into some other type. Yeah. <laughs> That's usually how I do it. Moving on, I just want to say that the Maybe. next card, that is the best card. Sharpedo? It's a Sharpedo, so it's got to be the best card, right? 
I mean, simplicity is uh, close, I suppose. I mean, we have Aqua Patch. <laughs> <laughs> we have Aqua Patch would be my first turn. Wally, Aqua Patch. Without compressor somehow. Headbutts in their face. All right, this is the stage one. <laughs> the, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, it actually has to evolve from something to make seven do seventy damage. And it's have really HP. Oh, pretty nice. Oh, it's a rare. Oh my god. Oh my, that's so and bad. And suddenly I hate it again. Fuck. Oh every god. card I, every card I've been like, oh, I don't mind that. And then it's every time it's a rare. <laughs> I need to stop saying that. Saying that, I think. All right. This is that's okay. A... Why doesn't this? Okay, there's should... been a lot of unplayable rares that we've seen today, right? Like, yeah. like where you're like, ooh, I don't want to open that or whatever. Yeah. This is unacceptable. <laughs> like, this is definitely uncommon level of, this, of cards. Yeah. This isn't even a good uncommon. Like, hey, hey, but hey, but I'm saying like, let's not this torpedo just because we can. It's fine, but like, how does this have no words? Hey, it has two words, jet and headbutt, all right? You it know why it's a rare? <laughs> you know why it's a rare? Because I exist, I don't know. What? Because it has free retreat. That's why it's a rare. Oh, uh, still not good enough, though. No, not even close. So, like, have you seen Jolteon? <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this is so... <laughs> Sylveon, Sylveon GX. GX. This, is the, uh, this is the deck that I'm looking forward to testing. So there's currently a deck where you only play Sylveon. It's much like the Lapras deck, if you know about that one. Okay. Uh, which is basically item removal, and then you use Lapras to just yeah, do yeah. things. This is basically that, except that you find whichever three cards you want every turn, and then control your opponent. <clears throat> oh. And uh, it's that's apparently cool. working. Well, that's a, a playstyle that uh, sounds attractive. Yes. I mean, if you like control... The energy removal path is the way to go in Pokemon. Yeah. Uh, and the deck, uh, according to most people that have tried it, it seems to have a high win rate too. So. I'll tell you something. This sound, this deck, sounds like a great way to get absolutely obliterated by Garbodor. Yeah. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> like the old one energy attacker that's just like, oh, I'm just the gonna thing go though here. is that you play you play Eevee, that energy evolves, right? Yep. And then when you look for three cards, you don't have to play trainers to get to the cards you need. That's true. Okay. So all, all right. of a sudden, you don't have to it. put trainers into the discard pile. And if you don't put trainers into the discard pile, I'm pretty sure that Garbodor is just worthless. As a uh, deck. True, true. I'm not sure what yeah, yeah, their yeah. second attack... I think they play Taurus as well, actually. But then you just handle the Taurus instead. So. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I'm actually yeah. Just... Um, it's a pretty good... Okay, I'm into it that. It seems like a nice deck, though. Still be on control. How do you kill him? Uh, I, 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 I guess it's actually Fairwind. You just, like, use that. You just 110 and out? Yeah. I guess you just, like, Demonic Tutor a billion times until you have what you need yeah. or whatever. And then I mean, you just annoy them until they don't have energies and they can't do things. And you, listen, you know, yeah, you do yeah. the classic classic control game. The stabilize thing. Yeah, same thing. This full art, though, I kind of like, but it's only because I like the pinkness of it. But, so, um, I mean, yeah, Sylveon lends itself to being pink. Yeah. I mean, it's already pink. Right. I like the pink okay. one more than the uh, rainbow one. Uh, I'm sure no one's aware that this card's in the set. No one's so, talking about uh, it So, Tapu Lele, I don't know if we need to read on this, really. I mean, everyone has already done that, probably. Well, we may as well. Like, who knows if there's people who don't... Uh, so this has Wonder Tag, so when you play it onto your bench from your hand, uh, you get to search your deck for a supporter and put it in your hand. Um, so it's Jirachi, basically. Uh, it is still at basic. It has 170 HP instead of 90. Uh, and then it has actual attacks. What? <laughs> <laughs> what did it Did it do that? And it has almost double HP to Jirachi and an attack? And a GX attack? Oh, wow. Yeah. So And they, they're not bad either. Yeah. <sighs> I like to call this Jirachi Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, that's what like, it is. Like, both Jirachi and Mewtwo aren't good enough anymore, so we just smashed them together and called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, nobody ever played Jirachi or Mewtwo, so we thought, why not make yeah, them one card? Those cards weren't playable. We're just trying to, like, make good on previous promises of GX as being good. I mean, is this is this just to prepare for Jirachi rotation? 
Is that well, the Jirachi's only thing? Standard, is it? Uh, not Jirachi, I mean uh, Shaman. Um, like this is this to prep for that? <clears throat> so now instead of just drawing cards immediately, you waste your support <laughs> for the turn. Doing it well, this is gonna replace my Lugia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, that's no, that, true too. Should... Lugia is also not worthless because of this, this card. This should efficiently, and I mean efficiently, remove Lugia from the front. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah why would you ever no play idea. Lugia over this? I, I have no idea. And it doesn't have Second. weakness. Or wait, it's I mean, not weak it's to like anything? no. I didn't even read it, I just assumed it was weak to Psychic or something. Yeah, you think that, right? And then you just, oh, it doesn't have weakness either. It's like, wow. That's right, because but way back when this was spoiled, I was reading the card, like, looking for the way it was, at least, like, technically not strictly better than Jack Jirachi. Yeah. Do you think Garbodor Lele might be viable? I think talking it's, about is Lele it, as... I mean, is Lele I don't know viable? It doesn't play this. Uh, yes. <laughs> Gar I think oh, Garbodor Lele and other things is probably a deck. <laughs> I... If you're playing standard, you're playing this card. There's no I, reason yeah. not to play this you're card. You're probably playing this card if you're playing expanded at this point. Yeah, even in expanded. Yes, you, your Rachi is just out it, of expanded now. Oh yeah, gone. Like, there's no oh, it's, reason. It's. I, I think I already mentioned this to you, but for anybody else... This card is not legal in Legacy, so... Yeah. And so the only... is great in Legacy. Which made me very sad, because I was like, so I can finally trade away my Jirachis and just make yeah. a few packs? No, no. I oh. need to keep them for uh, Legacy in uh, PC Studio, like sadly. One, but... mm, I'll keep my both. I, I just have like two. Um, so this is the most broken Bananas fun. card in the set. It's going to see play from now until it rotates. Unless they print no a better after. card. And after, uh, yeah, and expanded, obviously, <laughs> it's going to see play. So from now on uh, and forever, until they print yeah. a better card. But when they print a better card, I'll think like, I'll quit. I, <laughs> I think I'm done. What is even better than this? I mean, I guess you could just increase the numbers. I mean, if it searches for a supporter and draws six cards. <laughs> sure. Oh, that, yeah, that's, I guess that's true. That's the next one. Like, it fills your hand Jirachi and searches for cards. Jirachi Mewtwo Shaman. No, it, <laughs> and better yet, it, you draw up to six and then search for a supporter. <laughs> and 250 HP. Sure. And you know, it's just a normal basic. Cause why? Why would it be double price? No, no, no. If it's not gonna have a weakness, oh, free retreat, uh, free retreat, no weakness. And, and you know, you still want it to be a type, cause it, you know, for yeah, yeah, weakness on stuff. Of course, it'll be like a good type. Whatever, whatever has support. Like it'll be water right now, so it is water patch too. Uh, I don't. I really don't understand what they. As I said, the only thing I can think of is that they wanted something like this in standard once Shaman rotates. I think we will need that. Uh, that's the. That's true. And compared but... to that, I feel like I, I know this is gonna be crazy and out there. I feel like this is okay. <clears throat> I don't like that the weakness is not there. It feels like that would be a good balancing thing. This is probably but... fine. I'm just like, what is happening with this card? Yeah, like exactly. It's just all the things on it. It has all the. Th we haven't what? even talked about the second attack. No, it's we just heals. Which is a real attack. It's it's actually a thing. That does things. It uh, can heal two of your Pokemon. Your revenge Pokemon. Um, it is a GX attack, so like that's not free or anything. No. But it's another like, like this well, Pokemon is just like the infinite utility Pokemon. It's just like, oh, I get you support. All the things. And when you need me to, I'll attack. And every once in a while, I'll heal some stuff. Like. Also, Pokemon Fan Club finds two of these. <laughs> Sure. Oh yeah. oh yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but like, it actually matters because Ultra Ball was the one to find Shaman with, right? You never Pokemon fan club Shaman. You're you probably still Ultra Ball for this. Like, uh, do you? Most likely. Anyway, uh, the standard though. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Like I almost want to talk about like my concern, like my concern and or question is like, why does this have the Mewtwo attack? Does it I, need the Mewtwo attack? Like, it was going to see play. Yes. Couldn't it be kind of, triple Psychic? Or any numbers? Even Psychic 1 or something? I, yeah. I, I don't know. I just, like, I don't understand what the purpose of having this have a Mewtwo attack is. It's the best you know? card. Uh, I no, I, I just I don't understand it either. It's, it's too good. 
but it's mostly too good, as I said, because of the lack of weakness. And I wouldn't mind if it was like double retreat or something as well. Something to make it just a little bit worse on the bottom end of the card. Yeah. Like, I don't, um, I don't know, like... Because 170 isn't easy to knock out, like, in the next format, I think. No, it's not. Like, so... And, and I just think, like... Yeah, I guess that's just the summary of my thoughts. It's like, why does this need to be so powerful? Like, mm-hmm. what is happening that requires this? Like, did they just want a flagship card, and this is just obviously powerful, so here it is? Yeah. Like, I don't how, know. But, so how uh, many times will they have to reprint this set just so that people can have this card? <laughs> Oh, that's know. a good question it's just a strange place to put like all these particular powers is how I feel about it yeah it's kind of like with Shaman I, I suppose like sometimes you just need to have a, just a bonkers card like so what would you do I'm, we're actually not going to discuss this card much longer everybody knows it's bonkers but I feel sure. like if we just removed energy drive and kept all the other texts it would be fine uh, I actually would really like the card if its only attack was a GX attack that healed your Pokemon. Like yeah, if it just exactly. Had no damage. If you like remove anything else, oh, well, Wonder and, Attack would stay obviously. And not only could you do all that, but you would, it would still be very playable. <laughs> yes, because you're never gonna attack with it anyway. I mean, now you can, which is insane. Because Urachi, well, you never attacked with. It's not even just like an okay attack. It's good. <laughs> It needs a good attack, otherwise, you know, support Pokemon needs to like, do that these days. Once upon a time, we had a card with this attack that was the best attacker in the format. <laughs> and I know that that's and not now really where we're at now, but and now like, it's a support still. Pokemon. Yeah. Like, I was yeah. like, oh, cool, that's, uh, attack, yeah, whatever. The full art on this doesn't look... Well, I guess it looks okay. Um, I'm a fan of the purple one, not yeah. the rainbow yeah, one. Yeah, the purple one. I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of the rainbow one cards in general did you die do we need to i'm good. good i'm dead i'm, I'm dead about this is a sharp you know. uh <laughs> let's see toxic <laughs> packs oh this evolves from oh i didn't yeah. realize this and thing. this is a stage one which obviously matters for you playing evolutions with stage ones and such uh, sure but it's 210 hp which is good uh then it has what does that say? flip four, four coins, coins times 30. 30 damage to each heads so yep. well, let's call that 60 damage for an energy with yeah. some variance. Which uh, okay. which isn't bad. That's a reasonable rate. Yeah. Super intense poison. <laughs> I mean, intense poison wasn't enough. It also had to be super. All right. Super intense. Uh, well, it is super intense indeed. Because... Oh my god. Wow. I just read on it and now I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah. that's, that is super intense. 10 damage counters. So that's 200 yeah. damage. What? I had the same reaction you had, where I was like, <laughs> super intense, was it really super? And then I read the attack, and I was like, yes, that is super, okay. <laughs> so, that is, um, is that the strongest GX attack that is not a GX attack, probably? I feel like that could have been a GX attack. I don't know, that does a lot of damage, though. I mean, like, only doing 100 damage up front, like giving them the opportunity yeah. to like switch or whatever, is a real drawback. So like I would call this 100 damage, maybe a two, maybe 200 damage, yeah. And triple psychic, like I don't feel like this is like. Yeah, the triple psychic is what level. put it puts it back, right? Yeah. So that's the thing. What does the GX attack actually do? Total shelter. Um, Prevents all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn, and and it does 150 itself too. 150 turtle up. <laughs> and the GX is 190 HP for basic, which is a good. Big amount. And shell trap. Sure. Yep. During your opponent's next turn, if this Pokemon is damaged by an attack, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. Okay. That's yeah. that's not bad. Uh, it's, uh, that's basically it's... like putting on a uh, a better what's it called the uh, Ra- tool uh, that does sixty damage. Yeah, the 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 uh, A spec one. Uh, no, Rock it's guard. not. Is that what it is? It's not the Aspec one. There's one in standard that's just put oh, it on. Balloon, right. Balloon, yeah. Yeah, a bursting balloon. Bursting balloon, that's the one. And then one six damage. That's me aging to... myself in this game. I'm like, oh, what's well, something about an Aspec? <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> the new player's well, like, this... what are you talking about? That's an Aspec. <laughs> that's a computer search. No, never mind. Did uh, you mean that? Isn't a computer search that? <laughs> so, this is not good enough to play, right? <laughs> I don't think. Maybe an expanded uh, right where you have Blacksmith, what does but... What attack do? Attach five energy cards from your discard pile to your Pokemon. Like... Hmm. 
That's nature tanks. That's the thing. Did you read this GX what? attack? Yeah, I read it. But would you play just one of these just to be able to use GX attack then? Like as a I mean, support thing? I don't know, but like the question is like, what can you do with five energies? Like, seems like well, a lot. I guess. Like, like what are you? Into, like, the combo are you doing stuff that? Here. Are you doing that instead of blacksmith though? You're not limited to just one. I mean, in the form of a battle compressor, you could conceivably get seven energies in your discard on yeah. turn one, like easy. Yeah, I guess. Because you got like, just, burning torch and. What I, I just don't like the idea of too. playing this card for that effect. <clears throat> if that makes sense. I mean, I understand if that uh, is exciting, I don't but like it per se. But it's hard to ignore that, like. The potential of like putting five energies into play on turn one like you could get some work done especially since it's in any way you like like you could charge up like three attackers mm -hmm. <laughs> you know and that yeah but that's what i'm saying is it played as a like a one-off supporter just to do that thing i think there's a shot like you know the question the question will always be what are we putting all these energies on yeah you know what's the engine that gets volcanians Maybe. I, I mean, I mean like, they work with Volcanic because you're discarding it from your hand to buff an attack. Indeed. And you do an attack and then um, you put them back on. And this could potentially get played in Volcanian. Like, yeah. I'm, Volcanian's buff. I'm, I'm not right saying now. that the card is horrible. I'm just saying that for me, it's not like instantly, oh yeah, so excited. No, it's, I mean, it's it's hard to recover from Tapu Lele. <laughs> and, uh, hi, Infinity. And yeah, I mean, it seems it's fine as a set of Pokemon. Yeah. And yeah, I just thought it's fine. You know, when I said that, when I said the Tapu Lele thing, I was just thinking like, oh great, I can rip five energies onto my Pokemon so that the Jirachi can kill it. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that feels oh, great. God. The full art Terminator looks awful. Just gonna say that. This really is really awful. This is like the first time where I think the Rainbow one actually looks better because I don't know what's going on with this one. They um, both look awful, though. Like, uh, yeah, ignoring the colors, like just the the drawing that's there is just horrendous. Let's not let's not diss on the artists, shall we? <laughs> you don't know, you don't know what's been going on in their life. Look, man, vanillish, okay. This is all fine. I'm just not sure why. It's all right, we're actually that was actually the last Pokemon, believe it or not. It was. Thank we're, God. We're out of